In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically create subtitles using Otter voice meeting notes. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. Otter is a revolutionary AI powered transcription and captioning tool that you can use to automatically transcribe and caption your audio files or videos. You can also use it to automatically transcribe live Zoom recordings if you have Otter for Teams. The possibility to export a transcript as SRT subtitles inside Otter is available if you have uh, the free version but with premium passes. That is, if you've referred people to join Otter, then you'll get a premium pass or if you have the premium plan. Let's begin. I already have the folder with my files open. There is an audio file and a video file. And you can either use audio files or video files, but for the purposes of this video, I'll use an audio file because it's smaller and to make the uploading process a little bit easier depending on my internet connection. So what you need to do is just click on import audio or video and then you'll need to drag and drop your audio or video file. I'll drag the audio file onto uh, the canvas that just popped up. Just drag and drop. I'll let it go. It's going to upload and there's a progress bar that you can see and there's a status of successful or failed successful just click on done once you click on done it's going to start processing and if i can just click on it uh, you'll notice that it's going to give us a notification of what it's doing processing conversation processing audio depending on the length of your video or audio file it's going to take a long time or a short time if you have the auto app installed you'll get a notification that your conversation has been processed and there it is and you'll also receive an email letting you know of the same we can now have a listen through to the automatically transcribed audio to see if this is what we were looking for let's play in this video i'm going to show you how to extract or download subtitles or captions from a wistia video and if you stick around to the end i'm going to show you how to convert the subtitles into text hi my name is david from freelancerinsights.com we can appreciate that Otter has done an awesome job automatically transcribing my audio. Now let's edit our transcript for mistakes. And also we need to try and subdivide the lines into two, like two lines or one line so that when we come to the export phase, then it's going to be a little bit easy exporting all the particular subtitles. So I'll just pick edits to the end, uh, correcting any mistakes that Otter may have picked up and trying to cut the lines into one lines or two lines, depending on what I feel best. So this is what you need to do as well. Uh, make edits as you listen through to the audio. If you're satisfied with your edits, click on done because you're done making the edits. And now you're ready to export the SRT subtitles from Otter. So just click on the three vertical dots. And once you click on the three vertical dots, click on export text. You'll get a new pop-up window with different formats to export, but we are interested in exporting SRT. So just click the drop down and select SRT. And from this page, you can include the speaker names or add uh, line breaks automatically. What we're interested in is the number of lines, that is two lines and the maximum characters per line. I love working with characters per line between 32 and 39. So just click on the timeline a small timeline until you get to the desired characters that is 39 and once i'm done with that i'll need to turn off the speaker because i'm the only one speaking in the audio and once i'm satisfied with that i'll just need to click on continue and it's going to export and you'll get that notification and it's going to automatically start downloading to the bottom left of my screen and uh, once it's done because i've set it up uh, to open automatically it's going to open automatically and if you don't like the way this looks uh, which is normal it may look like it's jumbled up uh, there's an easy way to fix it and i'll just save this file in the folder where i have all my resources uh, to this particular video and it's how to create subtitles using auto voice meeting notes so i'll just save that inside there uh, and once i save that i'll need to save as utf-8 just click on save uh, so it's already saved. Uh, since I already know where the file is, I'll need to make the edits to the subtitle using subtitle edit and just open that up. 
so that you can make the particular edits that you want to make to that particular file. Uh, I find that if you send a client a subtitle that looks like this, then the client will wonder what is going on. And uh, since subtitle edit is open, just click on new. And then we'll open our folder. Uh, there is a subtitle file. And we'll just need to drag and drop it. It's going to open up. And you don't need to do anything else here. Uh, just press on Control S. And this is the way it should look like. Uh, once we just save and reopen that particular file and you'll see in a side by side uh, when I show you I've pressed control s so that's the file that's the original file so let's look at uh, the file that we just created that is the one that we just saved. just double click on it and there we have it so if you look at it uh, maybe side by side you'll appreciate uh, the left one uh, then you'll appreciate the file on the right so basically if you just want to uh, make it look better you can just open it in subtitle edit and just save and that's it you've automatically created subtitles using auto voice meeting notes thank you so much for watching this video until next time never stop learning